Jefferson Center for Mental Health is the community mental health center that serves Jefferson, Gilpin, and Clear Creek communities. Jefferson Center is part of a relatively new statewide crisis system called Colorado Crisis Services, which have added substantially to what we have always had available for the community. Jefferson Center serves people in all stages of life, all ages, um, with a whole variety of problems. You know, one in five people in any year have a problem with um, some kind of behavioral health issue. That help is now available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Jefferson Center has always had 24-hour crisis services. They were mainly available by phone, after hours, and on weekends. Now we have crisis availability in terms of walk-in services. Often the um, first spot that people come to when they're experiencing a mental health emergency. Uh, whereas before when the walk-in crisis centers did not exist, people were um, you know, going to emergency rooms and having to wait around um, for many hours before they're seen. Um, oftentimes when folks come into the walk-in crisis center, they're seen within five minutes. This is a fantastic service that was not in existence um, over a year and a half ago, um, and people didn't know where to turn. Um, you can turn to family and you can turn to friends, but a lot of times you're going to need some professional support and before the only option was really the emergency room. And while there are certainly a lot of wonderful emergency room staff members that can help out, um, a lot of times they're not trained in um, the areas where we're trained and they can't really connect um, to the services that we're, uh, we have access to. So when people first come to see us, um, we have a very personable approach. We try and greet them at the door either with one of the crisis counselors or another staff. Um, we want this to be a no wrong door entrance into mental health service delivery. Clients that we work with are expecting the doors to shut on them. They're expecting individuals to not pay them time or attention. It's heartbreaking um, because these are people who are very ill. If they were um, individuals with a diagnosis of cancer, they would get medical care right there, right then. They would not be turned away. We do see kids at the crisis center. Um, oftentimes we do get a lot of referrals from the schools in the community. Um, they've kind of heard about our services and will refer a student who might be struggling with some depression, some anxiety, maybe some self-harming uh, concerns are going on. You know, they're obviously very nervous. They don't know what to expect. Um, so it's nice having them meet with one or two people and building rapport that way instead of having to retell their story to so many different individuals. Um, so that way they can kind of feel a little bit more comfortable, which then allows them to open up about what's really going on. Police um, have also been a little more aware of our services. We were super excited about it. And it's been fantastic. It's been fantastic for our organization and the organizations in Jefferson County. You know, we want to spend as much time helping people as we can, but we're police officers first, we're not mental health professionals. So uh, before we would only take people to the hospital, uh, we would take them, you know, maybe to detox, we would take them to jail, um, but we didn't have a place really for people who maybe voluntarily wanted some help. We are the first responders that go out to people who are having problems from you know, homeless veterans to uh, elderly people with dementia to kids who have emotional health problems. We have mobile crisis services where we're able to go out and respond to crises where they're happening in the community. This gives us a level of responsivity and flexibility that is really a huge asset, I think, to our community. So I've done assessments outside of pet shops in Lakewood, just on the street corner, because that's where the individual was um, and they were not able to get anywhere else. This is very heartfelt work. So it's really powerful when we get um, positive feedback. Um, and I have a letter here that was actually um, written uh, by one of those clients. 
to staff at Jefferson Center for Mental Health. I was recently a client in the crisis unit um, due to some severe um, depression. I walked into the unit without knowing anything about it. I was greeted in the most kind and supportive manner. Matthew spoke to me in a gentle and helpful tone and connected me with all the additional services I might need. Um, his presence and manner made me feel heard, supported, and that he cared. He allowed me to stay at the unit as long as I needed in a safe, comfortable place. Overall, Jefferson Center provided um, me with the kind of care that every human deserves, especially those as vulnerable as the mentally ill. I feel compelled to express my gratitude for your staff and services and to let you know that you saved my life. Remember why you do this. And that's why we do this.